In the annals of our planet's history, where time is measured not in years but in epochs, continents have embarked on timeless dances shaped by forces beyond human comprehension. One such land, New Zealand, emerges as a geographical enigma, a testament to Earth's ceaseless evolution. From its roots in the ancient supercontinent of Gondwana to its current position astride two tectonic plates, New Zealand's geological tale is as tumultuous as it is captivating. Today we'll be discussing how New Zealand formed and how it almost became totally submerged beneath the waves of the Pacific Ocean, with it only just being saved by the relentless power of tectonic collisions and the volcanism that followed. Origins in Gondwana, 500 to 180 million years ago. New Zealand is actually pretty young from a geological perspective. It shares a similar age to the land in eastern Australia, making it around 500 million years old. Its oldest rocks, rugged greywacke, began forming in ancient sedimentary basins. Fossils like the remains of the ancient Tuatara whispered secrets of ancestry with distant Gondwanan lands, hinting at a shared past. At this point in time, New Zealand and Zealandia were attached to Antarctica and southeastern Australia. Much of it was submerged beneath the waves though, with only sections of it outcropping. Rifting of Gondwana, 180 to 85 million years ago. As with all things, change is the only constant. Around 180 million years ago, the massive supercontinent of Gondwana began to break apart. Mantle convection and the relentless forces below Earth's crust led to rift valleys emerging, tearing the land asunder. Zealandia, a nearly submerged continental mass that cradled the beginnings of New Zealand, began its journey of separation from Antarctica. As it drifted, the vastness of the ocean claimed most of Zealandia, leaving only fragments like New Zealand defiantly above the waves. This rift worked to thin out the crust and this thinning out stretched Zealandia, plunging almost all of it beneath the salty waves of the Pacific Ocean. Subduction and Volcanism, 85 million years ago to present day. The dance of tectonic plates continued, and as Zealandia ventured further, the Pacific Plate began its descent beneath the Australian Plate. This descent and subsequent tectonic collision saved New Zealand from becoming entirely submerged, as it not only uplifted the land, but the melt from the subducting plate also led to the formation of volcanoes, which added much needed material to the near fully submerged landmass of Zealandia. The dramatic subduction events gave birth to deep oceanic trenches like the Kermadec and Hikurangi. Beneath the surface, the melting Pacific Plate birthed magma, which rose to craft volcanic arcs. The North Island's Coromandel Peninsula is today a testament to this fiery era. Orogenic activity, 25 million years ago to present. The land was not done evolving. Around 25 million years ago, the Pacific and Australian plates collided. This continent-to-continent -continent collision birthed the formidable Alpine Fault along the South Island's western edge. This fault would become the backbone of the majestic Southern Alps, rising in defiance against the sky. The Kaikoura Orogeny, another mountain-building epoch, added more drama to the landscape, sculpting both the North and South Islands. The almost submerged landmass was now thrust high above the waves, and it was at this point that the land began to take on the recognisable shape that we see today. Recent Geological Activity and Landscape Formation in more recent geological times, the Quaternary Period, which began 2.58 million years ago, saw New Zealand don the icy cloak of glaciers. These frozen rivers carved valleys into the Southern Alps, gifting the world with the breathtaking fjords of the Fjordland and the serene glacial lakes in the South Island's heart. However, the land's restlessness persisted. The North Island's central region became a hub of volcanic activity, with giants like Mount Ruapehu and Mount Tongariro standing guard over the landscape. The Taupo supervolcanic caldera is a remnant of one of history's most violent eruptions. It silently broods over its explosive past. Today, New Zealand stands as a testament to Earth's dynamic nature. Its landscape a canvas painted over millions of years by tectonic forces, volcanic fires, and icy brushes. As one traverses its terrain, every rock, mountain, and valley narrates a chapter of its epic geological saga reminding us of the intricate ballet of forces that have shaped and continue to shape our beautiful planet. New Zealand was almost lost beneath the waves, but thankfully the relentless march of plate tectonics saved it from a watery grave. Thanks for watching.
Nestled in the heart of New Zealand, the Southern Alps stand as a majestic and awe-inspiring testament to the power and dynamism of our planet's geological forces. Their towering peaks, deep valleys and sprawling glaciers tell a story that spans hundreds of millions of years, a narrative woven into the very fabric of the Earth's crust. This tale, rich in dramatic transformations and colossal movements, is not just a chronicle of a mountain range, but a window into the processes that have shaped our world. From their origins in the ancient depths of a Mesozoic ocean to their current status as one of the most rapidly rising mountain ranges on Earth, the Southern Alps have undergone an extraordinary evolution. Their story is one of continental drift and tectonic collisions, of immense pressures and the birth of mountains, of ice ages and the relentless forces of erosion. So in this video, we'll take a look at the formation of the New Zealand Alps. In the depths of the Mesozoic era, when dinosaurs roamed the Earth, the region that would one day become the Southern Alps lay beneath a vast ocean. Here in this ancient marine environment, layers upon layers of sediment accumulated, forming the bedrock of Greywacke and Schist that would later give rise to the mountains. These sediments, rich in marine life, slowly compacted under the weight of the ocean, setting the stage for the dramatic events to come. As the supercontinent Gondwana began to break apart, the land that would become New Zealand started its slow drift away from the massive landmass. This drift was part of a monumental process of continental drift, a puzzle piece in the grand tapestry of plate tectonics that reshaped the Earth's surface. Fast forward to the Miocene Epoch 23 million years ago. The stage was set for the rise of the Southern Alps. The collision of the Pacific and Indo-Australian tectonic plates, each carrying their continental crust, initiated a dramatic uplift. This was a colossal event, where instead of one plate subducting beneath another, both plates pushed against each other, causing the crust to crumple and rise. The immense pressure transformed the ancient sediments into the metamorphic schist, characterized by its layered, foliated appearance. The true uplift of the Southern Alps began around 5 million years ago, marking a period of intense geological activity. The Alpine Fault, a major player in this story, became the site of significant horizontal and vertical movements. This fault, running along the western edge of the mountains, has been the catalyst for the rapid rise of the Alps, at rates of about 7 to 10 millimeters per year. Simultaneously, the forces of erosion began their relentless work. The high rainfall on the western side of the Alps, coupled with the freeze-four action in the higher altitudes, led to significant erosion. Glaciers, those slow-moving rivers of ice, carved through the rising mountains, sculpting the dramatic U-shaped valleys and sharp peaks that define the Alps today. Today, the Southern Alps stands as a testament to the dynamic nature of Earth's crust. They continue to rise, shaped by the forces of tectonic activity and erosion. Glaciers, although retreating due to climate change, still mark the landscape, a reminder of the ice ages that played a crucial role in sculpting these mountains. As we reflect on the epic journey of the Southern Alps, from their ancient origins in the depths of prehistoric oceans to their current majesty, we are reminded of the enduring power and mystery of the natural world. The story of the Southern Alps is a vivid chapter in the Earth's geological history, and a compelling reminder of our planet's ever-changing face. Their legacy continues to unfold, inspiring us to deepen our understanding and appreciation of the natural world. Thanks for watching.